channel so today we're doing something i haven't tried before it's a paint grenade so i know these are not the best colors to use for a paint grenade as they make brown but i have them left over from a previous pour and i really want to try it so let's layer the cup so i'm going to try and keep certain colors a little bit away from each other i want to try and layer it let's do some purple first i'm not gonna do a lot of layers because I don't have a lot of paint. I don't need a lot of paint because this isn't a big canvas. This is a 25 centimeter round. Then I've got some titanium white by Amsterdam that has some floatrol in it. So that's probably gonna sink. Let's do some yellow. Let's try some orange. Go back for some pink. Let's do some white. Let's pour the rest of the purple in. I think the last of the pink. This is so much more pink than we need. Let's pour some yellow. Do I want to add the rest of the orange? I don't think so. I'm going to leave the rest of the orange. I am going to add some more white and I'm going to, I think I'm going to dirty pour it. And I'm going to let that stand a little bit so the titanium white can sink. So it's been sitting for a little bit. I think it's ready to do a flip and hopefully I don't splash it all over. I haven't done this in a long time and there's a lot of space. One, two, three. Oh, well, it's already coming out. Let's just release it. Okay, pretty vacuum sealed, I think. But let's try and get it to... Oh god, that's gorgeous. Oh wow, you need to see this. Let me get you up close. Look at that. I'm not sure how I'm going to be keeping that. Because I really want to keep it. Let's get you back up. really thought I had more paint. There's still a lot in the cup that's also... Like... Look how pretty. The rest is brown. Okay, let me scrape this cup and spread it on the sides so I have a little bit of a flow extender let's just sit it there I'm going to let this sit a little bit and see if I can make a little bit of a flow extender or if I'm going to try and get this off first so we can keep most of that but let's see I will be right back so I spread everything around and I really want to keep that part so I'm going to pour that off first Trying to see how far I can spread it without going over the edge. I'm still on the canvas, haven't gone off the edge yet. I'm really trying to get it in camera. I've got my camera set up a little bit different than normal and I'm not liking it at all. So let's go over. I do see some the white breaking up, so these paints don't like to play together. So it's probably best for me to at least get most of the white to go. It's gone over the edge everywhere, so that's good. Let's torch it. feel that there's quite a lot of paint still on the canvas but it's really really pretty let me turn off my ring light so you can see maybe a little bit better so it's really really pretty it's breaking up but it's really nice i don't know normally i would just scrape it because i don't like it but this look it's really pretty so let's see how this one dries i can't wait i hope it doesn't crack because there's a lot of paint on there i'll be back with the dry results I just cannot get over how good this came out. Look at it. It has so much to see. It looks like it's on fire in one place. This is one of the best flip cups I've ever done. I would love to hear what your thoughts about this one, but I'm in love. I'm, I'm stoked. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye everyone.